I'm Stan Grauf. I'm a, a psychiatrist by training. I have done in uh, the last uh, 50 years uh, primarily research uh, of non-ordinary states of consciousness. Uh, about half of the time uh, with psychedelics, clinical research with psychedelics. The second half, uh, Christina and I uh, developed uh, a non-drug method that we call holotropic breathwork. So we have done that uh, in the form of workshops all over the world. Uh, we also have a training where people um, can get um, trained to become facilitators of this uh, holotropic breathwork. Traditional psychiatry uses that term altered states of consciousness. Uh, those people who have done significant research in, of consciousness, they prefer the term non-ordinary state of consciousness, but even that is very very broad because there are many non-ordinary states of consciousness that are not healing, that are not transformative, that are not evolutionary, that are not interesting from the heuristic point of view. So when I found out that uh, we really don't have uh, a special term for uh, the states that have these positive uh, properties, like the experiences of the shamans, the native cultures, the initiates in the mysteries, the yogis, the Buddhists, the, uh, the Christian mystics, the Sufis, the, the Kabbalists, and so on. Uh, I decided to coin one myself, and I started calling them holotropic, where holos means whole in Greek, and uh, tropic is derived from trepein, which means moving towards. Uh, so they, it means literally moving toward wholeness.